Oh, Mr. Ibu don't lost the leg. Mr. Ibu don't lost the leg. After seven operations, apparently seven operations, this man underwent so much trouble. Finally, or fortunately for himself and his entire family, the doctor decided to cut off the leg. That was the last resort in order for Mr. Ibu to survive. Oh, you know the time, eh? Mr. Ibu made a video. He cried out. He said, please, I do not want to lose my leg. Assist me. I do not want to lose my leg. And people actually assisted. People actually assisted. Well, according to him, he said, good afternoon, Nigerians. We want to appreciate everyone that has come through for our dad. Saying we are grateful is an understatement and the only uh, the only the good good Lord can thank you all enough for every help you have rendered. As of 1 p.m. noon today, Daddy has gone through seven successful surgeries. But to keep him alive and increase the chances of recovery, one of his legs had to be amputated. This development has been hard on us, Paul. But we have had to accept it as that is new reality to keep him alive. Please, we are still soliciting for support from well meaning Nigerians as this stage at this stage daddy is 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 still one very delicate one. Okay, I don't understand that. And he needs all the help he can get. Okay. Thank you everyone. Okay, the Okafor family, and they also put his account number there. Uh, please, if you have anything to render, also assist, 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 and assist. May God continue to bless him. No, we don't want to start reading, reading uh, uh, controversies into this whole matter. No, no, no. There's no need for controversies now. The guy needs help. If you can get help, if you cannot help, keep quiet. Hmm? If you cannot help, keep quiet. Well, check out these allegations coming from Yomi Fabi. Yomi Fabi said, Iyabo Ojo cook up lies to implicate Naramali. <laughs> Wahala. Wahala. Despite, we are saying Iyabo Ojo due to what uh, personal issue with Naramali, I have said that Iyabo Ojo shouldn't be the head of seeking justice from Obad, that doesn't mean you now go twist the matter and go a Yabo Ojo head. Was a Yabo Ojo there when Naramali and his boys were beating Obad? Was a Yabo Ojo there when they were forming big men, they injured Obad? When Samlari, the Waka Waka, they oppressed Mobad? Was a Yabo Ojo there? Was that a cook up story? Was that a made up story? Please, man. You guys should take it extremely, really, really easy. Abba, with these allegations, we already know a Yabo Ojo and Yonifa Bey, they have issue long time ago about Papa Ijesha. Papa Ijesha JJ now, for what he committed. <laughs> Yabo Ojo mean that guy. And that guy finally went to jail. So, they get personal beef, but don't bring it into more bad matter. It doesn't concern more bad matter. And the crazy part is that Naramali and Samlari were granted bill. 20 million naira free shorties and they will drop their international passport. They don't have the right to travel out of Nigeria. And not just only that, guys. The judge said nobody should call him. The magistrate, Asia. He said nobody should call his number. If anybody calls his number, is going to record it, then play it in court. That's to tell you, maybe there have been some people who are trying to choke their dirty fingers into the case. And we are still waiting for autopsy report, pre autopsy report. Now, how many months now? What a pre autopsy report? Bring it out. And guess what again? The nurses, the nurse, Prime Boy, and Speedy are still. Uh, are still in jail. Well, if they grant their bail, it will still be equivalent of 20 million naira or some millions of naira. 
So where you want me to foresee pay? Where you want me to foresee that kind of money pay me? Yeah? Where you want me to foresee that kind of money pay me? Ah, may God, eh, please, eh, no matter what you are doing in life, eh, pray, make trouble, make you know the look for coming to for you every day. Please, there is a need for you to say that prayer. Pray, make trouble, no meet you for where you day. There are some people who are languishing in jail currently, who are wasting their life in jail. For matter me, they don't even know where for start, where for where they go, and where for end. They just go arrest them. Maybe because they see their face or nothing. People have spent 17 years, 30 something years in jail for wrong accusations. So please, eh, this is more bad case. Eh, we do not need innocent person to go to jail. Huh? What will it profit you or profit anybody? If innocent person goes to jail, what? Then this one is coming from uh, Daniel Rega. He said, Naramali and Samlari being granted bail is ridiculous. Both should be in prison now for assault. It's also funny how they were released after threatening to sue. Once again, the Nigeria police has done nothing. Be disappointing masses so predictable just like clockwork <laughs> so uh dsp uh quickly responded to daniel rega dsp said daniel daniel you'll be my person so i will just speak calmly assault is lie is a liable is a bill assault is a billable offense and bring gutted bail does not signify the end of case. No offense. <laughs> Daniel Rega, you know he must talk now. <laughs> now it will be that. Daniel Rega. <laughs> so, like I've said before, eh, we don't want justice. Justice may go put uh, innocent people for jail, which will benefit you. If they will put person for jail, make it no came or bad, what will it benefit you? Eh? And many people know they seek justice, may go suit them, may go sweep them for face. Remember, when the old case started, the only justice that we wanted to see, me myself, I wanted to see, let me be honest, was that Naramali and Samlari pays. And again, they will still pay. They are still going to pay. Because they also did something to that boy. May they pay for their own. But the real death of your bad, who learned the last blow? The people responsible. May they know just to say, oh, na nurse, go give rejection. Why the person who invited that nurse and the people who be around him, they are also liable now. They are also liable as well. You invited the quack nurse. Well, they can they they still have a, a, a good stand, a good a, a good uh, stand. If I mean a good stand, like they can just say, "Oh, we never knew the nurse was a quack nurse. She has been treating a lot of persons." My dad nurse, eh? that nurse, eh? no land for real good. Oh, try. That nurse no land for real good. Oh. Let's be honest. That nurse is tied. It's tied from the back. It's tied from the front. It's tied from the side. Quack nurse. You know you are not a professional. You go the administer injection. Give person. Ah! I don't see how that nurse go to escape. Prime boy go escape. Prime boy no do nothing. Prime boy fought with somebody. People they fight. People they fight two two days later. Now person go to rejection. Bye. Prime boy no do nothing. Speedy that he invite us, so he gets some case to answer. The wife also made day house. Except if that wife no day house. Except if that wife say make you go run buy something. No day house. Now person take carry us. Can't give the husband for us. Me no know about. Mm, that is understandable. 
But where you go, how you take waka? That's understandable. But for me, for now, all of them, eh, for that, as, eh, their duty has charged. Because I don't pass it serious. Next time, as a friend, may you get sense also. Make your friend know the sick. You say you want to go call nurse. If you cannot go to hospital to bring nurse, carry your friend go to the hospital. Where they treat her. Carry your friend go to the hospital where they treat her. Don't go invite nurse so make you no know, enter problem. <laughs> Sorry, if my friend is sick and you they wait, make I give you water drink or make I give you uh make I call nurse for you all those things. Sorry. I no go call no because I know why enter problem. <laughs>